Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this irregular pentagon, as you can see in this figure, with the known values 10, 7, 14, and 15. And moreover, we have these 90 degree angles, once again, as you can see in the, this figure. And we are going to calculate this unknown side x. And here's our very first step. Let's draw a line FD. F is a point somewhere here, such that this line segment FD is equal to this line segment AE. They are same in length. And moreover, these FD and AE are parallel to each other. And furthermore, this line FA, as you can see over here, FA is equal in length with this side DE, these sides, and moreover, FA is parallel to this line segment DE as well. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. Now let's go ahead and focus on this rectangle FAED. And here's the definition of a rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel. So therefore, we conclude that this FA is going to be seven units as well. And then this FD is going to be 10 units as they are equal in length and moreover this angle f is going to be 90 degrees so thus this total length a this is f c is going to be 10 plus 14 is going to be 24 as you can see over here and now as you can see that these line segment A, E and D, E are no longer needed. And here's our new figure as you can see. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect point A and C. We are going to connect these point A and C really carefully. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And as a result, we get two triangles. One triangle is AFC, this one, and the other triangle is triangle ABC. And one more thing, both have this high part and use this one in common. And in this next step, let's focus on this triangle AF see this one and we know that this is a right triangle therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our this given triangle afc the longest leg is ac I'm gonna call this side c and then this side I am going to call side a which is fc and this side I'm going to call B. And here's our Pythagorean formula, A square plus B square equal to C square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A in our case is 24, so this is going to become a 24 square, plus B in our case is seven, so seven square equal to C is unknown, so I'm going to just leave it as it is. And we know that the 24 square is 576, 7 square is 49 equal to C square. So C square equal to simply 625. Let's take the square root on both sides to undo this one. So C turns out to be 25. And we know that this side C is simply this AC. So that means this side AC turns out to be 25. So that's the hypotenuse in this triangle AFC turns out to be 25. And one more thing, as we can see that 
this triangle ABC also shares the same hypotenuse. So that means this triangle would have also the same hypotenuse, which is 25. And here's our final step. In this step, we will calculate the unknown side, which is this side length X, and we are going to calculate this side. And now we are going to focus on this triangle ABC, as you can see over here. And we know that this is a right triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And once again, here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, the longest leg AC is our side C. And this horizontal side, I'm going to call A. And this vertical side, I'm going to call B. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, A is simply X. So I'm going to replace A by X square plus B in our case is 15. So I'm going to write down 15 square. And in our case, C is 25. So that's going to become 25 square. So we got X square plus 15 square is 225 equal to 625. Let's move this 225 on the other side. So x square equal to 625 minus 225. So x square is going to give us simply 400. And now since we want to solve for x, let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So this square and square root is gone. So we just simply got x equal to square root of 400 is simply 20. So our x value turns out to be 20. So therefore we have successfully found out the unknown side, this one this turns out to be 20 units. And here's our original figure. And after all those multiple steps, we have finally found out this unknown side X, which turns out to be 20 units. So thus the X value of this unknown side of this irregular pentagon turns out to be 20. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.